Hello, today we're going to quickly go over another Win API topic, this time on printing using a print dialog. As with everything within Windows, there are many ways to find the appropriate way you want to do something. The solution I've chosen to use is a print dialog structure. The print dialog structure allows a user to visually choose the wanted printer and unknowingly to them supplies with its handle. Okay, let's get started. On this project, we have a basic window containing a few submenus. The one we are going to be worrying about is the print menu. As you can see from our case ID file print, when the user clicks this, the code in here is going to execute. Starting at the top, we have a couple of declarations. We have a print dialog structure. This is the object that's going to be filled when our user makes their choice. Continuing on, we have a doc info structure. This, inform, um, this object contains information about the actual file we're sending to the printers, such as the name, the file, which you see listed in the queue when printing, its data type, an option for outputting the file to an HDD, and so on. We'll be giving it two basics um, to kind of simplify the process. Starting on the code, we have dinfo.cbsize equals size info dot dinfo. What that does is basically set the size of the structure to itself. It's redundant, but that's the way Windows is. We have our doc name, which is going to be printing. Again, this is what's going to show in the printing dialog box. Next, we have our print dialog initialization. Our flags, there's many to choose from. We're just doing return DC. H instance, we're going to call get window long to get an instance handle from the create struct. Our struct size is going to be size of PDLG, just like before. Our handle to a window owner, you do not have to supply this a value. For simplicity's sake, we're just going to say our window owns this dialog. Next, we're calling the print dialog function, passing in the print dialog structure. That's visually going to pop up a dialog, giving the user a choice to select whatever printer they want. Going on, we're going to say start document. We're going to supply the handle to a device context that the user chose. Also, we're going to give it the um, document info structure, such as the name, the size, etc. We're going to tell it, okay, now we want to start a page. In between start page and end page is going to go your GDI calls. Anything you want is going to be in there. One thing to note is that printer resolution and monitor resolution are not the same, so that's something to keep in mind. We're just going to do a text out with the word hello. Very simple. Next, we're going to call end page, end document. We don't want to do any more printing. Next, we're going to release the handle to it. End result is going to show us a window, and when we click File Print, it's going to give us our print dialog structure. Now I'm going to pop up our little print window. So when I click here and I click Print, we're going to see the printing word show up right here. Thank you for your time.